Hello everyone and welcome to Families Together. Today we are thinking all about Jesus' brilliant big family photo. We are the church. Before the world began, God made a master plan to bring all things together under one head. That head is Jesus Christ, who died and rose to life, and now he's seated at the right hand of God. Once we were dead in sin, now we are raised with him. By grace we're saved through faith, Jesus alone. Part of his body now, united by his power. Joined with his people all, all over the world. We are the church, have you heard? He washed us clean with his word. He chose us to be honest. We are more love than we can dream. We've got good news, shout it out. You've got to hear what it's all about. No one's too far away to be welcomed into God's family. Speaking the truth in love to build the body up. We serve each other using gifts from the King. We pray for unity so everyone will see God's plan in action in His people today. We are the church, have you heard? He washed us clean with His word. He chose us to be honest. We are more love than we dream. We've got good news, shout it out. You've got to hear what it's all about. No one's too far away to be welcomed into God's family. Sing along at home so your neighbours can hear you. One Lord, one faith, one God, one Father, one body, one spirit, we are one in Christ. One hope, one truth, one cross, one Saviour, one mission, one future, we are one in Christ. Everybody now. One Lord, one faith, one God, one Father, one body, one spirit. We are one in Christ, one hope, one truth, one cross, one saviour, one mission, one future. We are one in Christ, we are the church now. We are the church, have you heard? He washed us clean with his word. He chose us to be on his team. We are more loved than we could dream. we got good news, shout it out, you've got to hear what it's all about. No one's too far away to be welcomed into the family. We are the church, have you heard? He washed us clean with his word. He chose us to be on his team. We are more loved than we can dream. We've got good news, shout it out. You've got to hear what it's all about. No one's too far away to be welcomed into God's family. the church. I'm Ed and this is Families Together. And I'm Amy. We'd love to be at Bible by the Beach in Eastbourne together, paddling in the sea, having an ice cream, eating fish and chips on Eastbourne Beach. And Amy, 
not being Eastbourne shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Because wherever you are, you can just slip, this. slip into your wetsuit. <laughs> you slip into your wetsuit. Hold your breath while you do up the zip. <laughs> and then when that's on, pull on your goggles. Or, find your paddling pool. Or, just dive right. Or can I just sell you a different vision? OK. It doesn't matter where you are and you don't need a wetsuit on. In fact, you don't even need to be wearing goggles to learn about the Bible together, to sing great worship songs together, to have a laugh together. Ed, you don't need your goggles on. Amy, if I'm honest, I do actually prefer your version because it's quite hard to breathe in a wetsuit. <laughs> We're here. In Eastbourne, you're there in your own homes, but together we are in Jesus's great big family. Imagine a big family photo of everyone in Jesus's family. And if you're trusting in Jesus, then you are in the photo. I'm in the photo. You're in the, are you trusting in Jesus? Yes. Then you are in the photo. Where would I be? I think you would be up here with the tall people. <laughs> Near Jesus. Near Jesus. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how small you are. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter where you're from, what you look like. If you're trusting in Jesus, you are in the photo. The question we're answering today is how did we get into Jesus's big family photo? Perhaps you think you got into Jesus's big family photo by knowing all of the stories in the Bible. Or because you never miss a Sunday at church, you're always there. Or perhaps you think you can't be in the photo because you make too many mistakes. You mess up, you don't deserve to be here. Or maybe you're thinking to yourself, you're one of those children who seems to come home every week with a certificate from school. You're thinking, I absolutely must be in the photo because I get everything right. The question we're asking today, how do I get in to Jesus's family photo? And Amy, the answer's in the Bible. You knew I was going to say that. Of course that. it is. I'm looking in the book of Titus, which is Paul writing to a man called Titus. And here is what we read in chapter three. But then... The kindness and love of God our Saviour was shown. He saved us because of his mercy, not because of good deeds we did to be right with God. It was God who saved us and brought us into Jesus' family because of his love and kindness. We are tempted to think that we get ourselves into Jesus' big family photo, that we can save ourselves, that we can fix our sin problem, that we can stop doing what is wrong and start being good enough for God. No! That, that is not what it said here, Amy. <laughs> no, it's not what it said. We can be in God's great big family because of his kindness, because Jesus has saved us. Captain Awesomeness and Cutlery Boy are going to help us understand that some more. Amy, we can go for a swim. Nice. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Yeah, this is lovely. Uh, Captain, are we here on superhero business? Not today, Cuddly Boy. Even heroes need a day off from time to time. Oh, you're right there. Being absolutely incredible all of the time is quite tiring, isn't it? Guys, quick! You need to come and help me. Ed went out for a swim and he's been swept out to sea by a wave. Quick, help! Oh, I'm glad we're here to save the day. Uh, oh, Captain, what should we do? Leave it to me, cuddly boy. I'll take care of this. Tell Ed to swim back. He can't. He's been swept out to sea. But you said he went for a swim. Well, he... Yeah, but he's been swept out to sea. I think, Captain, that Ed can swim, but he's got into trouble and so he can't swim to safety. Hmm, that is tricky. Hmm. Seriously? Hmm. Uh, hello? Come and help save him. Okay, but has he tried standing up? 
It's too deep. He's too far out. But, but has he tried reaching for the side? He can't! Oh, come on! OK, OK. But does he have a boat? Uh, no. He needs you to come and save him. And quickly! Ah! Captain, I, I, I think Ed probably could save himself normally, but there's a specific reason right now why he can't. So, I don't know, maybe there's strong currents, or, or maybe there's a shark, or maybe there are pirates. Anyway, he needs someone else to come and save him. You need to come and save him, please. Mm. I'm more of a land-based superhero. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Captain, you do the really important job of uh, standing there, and I'm going to go and find a beach lifeguard and tell him that Ed's in big trouble. Once again, Captain Awesomeness has saved the day. Now it's time for another groovy tune from Awesome Cutlery. We got into Jesus' big family photo because we are justified. Do you want to know what that means? When I looked in the mirror, do you know what I saw? Saw someone who had broken the law. God's perfection is to have me, but He made a way for me to be free. Jesus died on the cross, you know what He paid. The price I owed for how I disobeyed. God's perfect son took on all my sin And he gave us freedom, I'm saved in him He came, he lived, he loved, he died, he rose again and he justified He came, he lived, he loved, he died, he rose again and he justified Justified, I'm justified it's just as if I live Jesus' life Just to fight I'm just to fight It's just as if I live Jesus' life My life is free from guilt and shame I've been justified in Jesus' name In the mirror, here's what I see Jesus, goodness, looking right back at me When I heard how Jesus had died in my place I had peace with God and joy on my face Now in the mirror, here's what I see Jesus, goodness, looking right back at me He came, He lived, He loved, He died, He rose again and He justified He came, He lived, He loved, He died, He rose again and He justified Justified, I'm justified It's just as if I'd lived Jesus' life I'm just to fight It's just as if I'd lived Jesus' life Ed, you needed saving I'm so pleased you're safe <laughs> Here I am Tell me what we're doing now, Amy are you ready yes. for an Ed versus Amy <laughs> studio challenge? I cannot believe, Amy, you still want to be beaten with my ninja-like agility and my Hulk-like strength. You're no match for me. Shush, shush. With my laser-like mind, you are going down. 
Are you ready? Yes. Do you want to know the challenge? Yes. Okay, so we have in front of us here a bowl of deep blue sea. Yes. And some jelly babies. Right. Okay, take the jelly babies. Yes. Put them into the deep blue sea. Okay, they're in. Okay, oh. Yeah. There we go. Now, take your deep blue sea. Yes. Plate on the top. Right. Flip it over. Whoa! Okay. There we go. Yes. Right, ready? Lift the bowl. Ready, lift the bowl. Okay, My, okay give it a big wobble. Wobble it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes, it's out. Right. Okay. Okay. Bowl Ready? Uh, yes. What? Okay. You've right. got to save the jelly babies from the bottom of the sea, but no, 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 no. You may have noticed my hair is tied up. That is because this is a mouth only challenge. You have to save the jelly babies using only your mouth. Oh, no. Are you ready? Yes. 15 seconds on the clock. Steady. Go. Go. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Oh. 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 <laughs> How many have you got? I've got three. I've got five. Oh, I've got most of the deep blue thing oh. in my mouth, up my nose and in my ears. Oh, oh Ed. Are you cleaned up yet? I feel like I've had an Eastbourne facial. <laughs> My skin, it feels so lovely and moist and soft. It's amazing. Oh. Recommend it. Oh, Amy, are you... Um, I'm going to be finding this in my nose for the next six weeks. Ed, oh. did you know there was a link? I don't believe it, Amy. <laughs> Those jelly babies needed saving. You really? They did. But hang on, Amy, they're jelly babies. They don't need saving. They needed saving from the bottom of the sea. And we saved them. You know, we are a bit like those jelly babies. We are stuck in a mess. We are stuck in our sin. And God, in his kindness, comes in Jesus into our mess and saves us. That is exactly what we read in Titus 3. In his kindness and love, God saved us and brought us into Jesus' big family. So we are safe there. He did it, we didn't. Ed, I think we're ready to talk about this in our families. Oh, that'd be great. Have you got the questions? I've got four questions for you in your families to get your brains around this mind-bending truth that it is all God and not us. Are you ready for that? Four questions. Yes. Three minutes. Yes. Then pray. Great. Tell us question one. Oh, OK. So you remember we have been talking about Jesus's big family. If you're under five, who got you into this family? Was it you? Five to sevens. How did you get in to Jesus's big family photo? And then over eight, you've got two questions and they're both tricky. First question, why is it a surprise that you're in the family at all? And two, how do you know you'll never be thrown out? In your families, three minutes, chat, pray, go!
It's God's love that saved you and me, placing us into Jesus's big family photo. But you know how God saved us, don't you? You know the moment when it all happened. Let's sing a song about it now. Jesus, when you died, it looked like a failure. All your friends had gone, they thought it was over. Jesus, when you died, you did not deserve it. This was all God's plan, you knew it was worth it. Thank you that you died for us We will always thank you Jesus, thank you that you died for us On the cross Jesus, when you died There you were forsaken Through your sacrifice all our shame was taken Jesus, when you died You did it on purpose You showed us your love You did it to serve us Thank you, Jesus, thank you That you died for us We will always thank you Jesus, thank you that you died for us on the cross. Jesus, when you died, all our sin was paid for now we're free to live the life we were made for one with god above living as his children we trust in his words knowing you fulfill them thank you jesus thank you that you died for I am part of something beautiful Placed by you with care among them all Every piece unique and different Your love shining through you're the artist, we're the image Made to be like you I want to know who I am So I'll listen to you You are God and you tell me what's true I want to see who I'll be When you're working in me You made us to show your glory I am known by 
like someone perfectly on your mind before I came to be I don't even know myself as well as you know me when I live as you have made me I am truly free I want to know who I am so I listen to you You are God and you tell me what's true I want to see who I'll be when you're working in me You made us to show your glory Welcome your host, it's Eduardo Ledru. Oh. Hello, welcome to our quiz. I'm Ed. Let's meet our contestants. This is Cutlery Boy. I'm, I'm not. I'm... Oh, um, actually, I'm Cutlery Boy, I'm a superhero, and I can perform acts of extraordinary bravery, mainly involving cutlery. Uh, oh, and I like spaghetti and chips, and cats. I, I don't like eating cats, I, I mainly just stroke them. Very well. So you are another contestant. I made it. Great, well, let's get on with things. Here's the first challenge. You must both draw a picture of a photo of a family member on your own face. Oh. Best drawing wins. Three, two, one, go. That's it, start with the outline. That's the recommended procedure for these things. Eyes, nose in the usual place, mouth, facial hair, where appropriate. Don't forget the hair on the top. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, cease drawing. Cuddly boy, what have you got there? I think it's quite good, actually. Look. It's a great picture there. I love it. And other contestant? Oh. Okay. You need to answer this next question correctly. Otherwise, you're out. Oh. Here's the question. How did we get into Jesus' big family photo? There are three options for you. A, we drew ourselves in. You clearly didn't. B, we earned our way in. Or C, Jesus saved us. It's that one. See, Jesus saved us. It's God's love and kindness. No one can save themselves. Hmm. Maybe you can't, but I like to think I can. Well, well, Captain, although you are extraordinarily well prepared to, to save others from their um, non-specific and, and slightly dangerous predicaments, well, we both know that 
that none of us can save ourselves in that most important way, to, to put ourselves into Jesus' big family photo. Uh, only Jesus can do that for you and for me. We need him to do it, don't you think? That's a great answer, country boy. Two points. And to you, well, you can stay. All right, cutlery boy, here's a question for you. Imagine that, contrary to your belief, your dad's laptop can't fly like a bird, and you throw it out of the window. I think the hard drive just crashed. Children, don't do this at home. Anyway, here are the options, cutlery boy. What do you do? A, try and fix it with a knife. B, lie and say the wind blew it out of the window or C, leave home forever. Oh, what, what, what a terrible question. Uh, I've just thrown my dad's laptop out of the window or you've just thrown my dad's laptop out of the window. And, uh, OK, let's think about it. Uh, you can fix pretty much anything with a knife. Well, but oh, B, uh, well, I wouldn't lie. That would definitely make things worse. Oh, but I wouldn't leave home either. I know what. I would go to my dad, I'd tell him what I'd done, and I'd say sorry. My dad's really kind. He'd probably forgive me. And I mean Jesus' big family because of what he's done, not because of what I do. Um, so I'm not worried about being thrown out of his big family or about being thrown out of my little family. I'm safe. Forever. What a great answer. 1,000 points. All right, other contestant. I would like you to imagine that you came home with another certificate from your teacher. What do you do next? A, show off and tell everybody how great you are. B, demand sweets, tell your mummy and daddy to give you some. Or C, enjoy it, but remember that you're still loved. <laughs> oh, definitely B. I'd go home. I'd be so pleased with myself. A certificate. So I'd tell you, Mum, Mum, look what I did at school. I must deserve some sweets. Well, mm, while I can't recommend using sweets as a reward because of how much sugar they've got into them, I, I do understand your, your sense of uh, celebration. <laughs> but can I say something else? Um, you know, Jesus loves you very much already. He can't love you anymore. His love is through the roof. Well, you know, in a, not in a dangerous way. Um, you're already right next to him in the big family photo. Uh, Jesus did that. Uh, please don't think that getting the certificate is what did that, because only Jesus can do it. That is an incredible answer. One million points. It was actually my All question. All right, well, that's the end of our quiz for today. Here are the scores. Country boy, you have 1,001,002 1, points. Oh. Other contestant, you don't have any. Oh, but, but however many points you got, Jesus loves you very much. He couldn't love you anymore. So let's all stick with Jesus. What a journey we've been on together. Do you remember where we started with that big question? How do we get into Jesus' big family photo? We know the answer. We totally do. It's God's kindness to us. Jesus has saved us. That is how we get to be in the family photo. What great news, Amy. Totally. If God did everything, then we are safe. He will keep us. So on my best day, hooray, I'm in Jesus's family photo. And on my worst day, hooray. I'm in Jesus's family photo and nothing can get me kicked out. By trusting in Jesus, God has saved us. We are in the biggest, best, forever family. <laughs> Amy, will you thank God? I totally will. Heavenly Father, we thank you that because of Jesus, we are in your family forever. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being kind. Amen. Amen. We have loved learning together as families about Jesus with plenty of laughter. 
If that's a mix you've enjoyed, families, Jesus, laughter, then check out our podcasts at faithinkids.org. And if you are the only person in the world who didn't know how brilliant Awesome Cutlery is, then you can go to awesomecutlery.org. Find out more about them there. Wow, awesomecutlery.com are going to sing us out with another brilliant song. It goes like this. Now we're one with Jesus. We'll never be apart. Hit it, boys! us in his son he joined us through and through every place that jesus goes is where you'll find us too through heaven's special offer of jesus christ the king we get grace love joy and hope choose him get everything we're in christ who is life united to the sun we're in who is life? We share all that He's won. Joined up by His Spirit, who lives in our hearts. Now we're one with Jesus. We'll never be apart. God the Father loves the Son, a love older than time. Jesus Christ now shares his love It's his, it's yours, it's mine Because of God's great mercy We're precious as can be Taking all of God's love is like trying to drink the sea We're in Christ who is life United to the sun We're in Christ who is life We share all that he's won Joined up by His Spirit, who lives in our hearts. Now we're one with Jesus, we'll never be apart. When God the Father raised the Son, we also rose with Him. We set hearts on things above and turn away from sin. This life cannot be taken, so we give God the thanks. Safer than a tortoise who is living in a bank. We're in Christ who is life, united to the sun. We'll never be apart Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our time together this morning. And thank you so much for Jesus play, giving us a place in his big family photo. Amen. Thanks, everyone. We really hope we get to see you soon. Bye.